My name is Harvey Hines and I will pay cash for your pot noodle. If you have a vintage pot noodle, or you know where I might be able to find one, I want to hear from you at harveyhines95 at gmail.com. If you need more information, stick around. Otherwise, thank you very much for your time. Jussie, we have to cook. As a comedian, pot noodles have formed the backbone of my work for the past 10 years. I've painted a picture using noodle juice. I've used empty pots to discuss football formations, and I even used footage of me actually eating one outside Belfast City Hall for the opening credits of my audio sitcom. In 2014, I put together a video that helps to explain this phenomenon, which personally I think holds up pretty well, and I use it as an icebreaker when I start work in new offices. However, I think times are changing. I don't think there's chicken and much room for gags about pot noodles anymore. I'm 25 years old. I need to move on. But I do have some unfinished business, the perfect send-off as it were. I'm going to let you into a little quest I've neglected over the years. I want to get my very own vintage pot noodle in the style that was around when I was a kid. I half-heartedly search eBay every now and then, but I never quite find what I'm looking for. That's not to say I haven't come close though. Around 13 years ago, I did have a Bombay bad boy that my nan found in her kitchen, but sadly my dog got to it a few weeks later, and that was the end of that. Then, subsequently, I remember finding the cracked skeleton of one round the back of a newsagent I used to play buzz away behind, but as you might imagine, this one was in poor condition and it soon perished. In the intervening period, the noodle mines have run dry, and further avenues have yielded no results. As I'm sure is becoming apparent, this search is not for mere beginners. So, to sum up and to outline my mission, I'm looking to buy a pot noodle of the classic 90s noughties design. From my own meandering experience, I believe the style changed in around spring of 2007, so anything before that is good. I'm open at this stage as to whether it's sealed or a washed out relic of the snack it once was. Either is acceptable, but if many are in fact found, the closest to pristine will take precedence. I'm also open to other related artefacts as well, so if you've got any marketing materials or anything like that of that era, please do get in touch. Man, think if we got a pot stop. I'll be conducting my own search as always, but I think these emails and any sharing of this video you can stretch to will be vital. Thank you so much for your help, and rest assured, any specimens found will be preserved and kept for future generations to enjoy. So come on. Let's do the flavour a favour. My name is Harvey Hines, and I was bullied at school. <laughs>